Hello and welcome everybody, my name is Nick and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the reveal of Modern Warfare, which has just come out today. There's a ton of information coming out and uh, I thought I'd focus on two of the bigger drops today and that there is no season pass and the beta will be coming sooner than we expected in a month on September 12th, first on PlayStation 4. So in the background, I'm gonna be running some gameplay from the actual announcement stream that was put up today on twitch.tv backslash call of duty. There was a ton of gameplay. They invited all of the biggest influencers from the gaming community, you know, my personal opinion. They didn't really invite many Call of Duty YouTubers or Call of Duty influencers. A lot of them were guys that were bigger up in numbers who played like Fortnite and Battle Royales. I don't really know what to think about that exactly. I don't necessarily agree with it on a community standpoint, but in a number standpoint, I could see why they would invite all of these influencers who have high numbers from different games, especially on the day that season 10 of Fortnite dropped. They would want to pull all of those content creators out of Fortnite for the day and into the Call of Duty announcements and into their own event. So that was pretty good idea for Activision on a marketing end. So I kind of agree with them on that point, but I think it's kind of dumb that they didn't invite more people from the Call of Duty community. I saw Merc, who uh, is Joe DeLuca. He was a classic guy from uh, back in the day from original Optic team. So I saw Benson there. Benson's been a caster with Call of Duty for a long time now. Doc was there. Shroud doesn't really play Call of Duty, but he was there as well. Sensor was there. Sensor is a huge Call of Duty icon, if not the largest Call of Duty icon that exists right now. So I was really happy to see people like Sensor there. Hutch was there, which was another original Optic member. So they did invite a lot of people from the inside of the Call of Duty community. It's just upsetting that they didn't invite more. Regardless on what I think of the actual event and who was there, I do think that they put on a really good show. It was really nice to see all of the gameplay. They might have done a little too much talking, in my opinion, where there was just downtime and not much... Uh, gameplay being shown but when the gameplay was there the gameplay was impressive they showed off a lot of the night vision modes and uh, they showed off a lot of the new maps they showed off a lot of the new areas they teased a chernobyl map they teased a remaster of chernobyl so nonetheless it's a pretty exciting year coming up so let's get into the topic real quick no season pass yep you heard me right there is no season pass for this game all dlc post launch will be free for modern warfare how the hell they got this pass to activision i don't know will we find extra added monetization through supply drops find out later and stay tuned but as far as i'm concerned for at least the first couple of months of release we're going to have a 60 dollars flat rate call of duty game it's going to be exciting it's going to be fun we're going to have a community that will not be split up and on top of that there will be cross play now cross play should be nothing new to any of you guys cross play has been around in fortnite and rocket league for probably a year year and a half two years now so this is just merging into call of duty at this point this is going to increase the amount of players in all of the game modes across all pools and you're going to have decreased wait times now as far as i'm aware the playstation 4 and the xbox one players will be together in their own pool and as soon as you queue up with somebody who is on pc you will then be added to the pc pool of players now with xbox and i don't know about playstation letting you attach a mouse and a keyboard to the console I wonder if they will kind of do it as an input based system so where people who are keyboarding on console will be put with keyboarders or when the player rate or the amount of players in PC dwindles if they'll throw them in with console people that is to be determined at this point but other than that I don't see any downside to doing this other than that the beta was also announced very briefly I do not know why they did it so briefly they probably could have done a whole bit on the beta it's kind of weird to me that they didn't put on like a whole charade on the stream about the beta but the beta does start on september 12th i believe you need to pre-order the game to get a code it starts on playstation and then it will come to every single other device like xbox one and pc the following weekend so i'm assuming september 12th will be the first weekend and then it'll continue off on september 19th for xbox one playstation 4 and pc so once again we're going to have another system where playstation gets two two weekends to play the game so if you have a playstation sitting around collecting dust if you're not a playstation gamer now might be the time to go and get your month of gold or whatever it is playstation plus for it for the month to pick up that beta overall i think the reveal was awesome 
they threw a lot of curveballs at us. They threw us the nukes coming back. They threw us the AC-130, the chopper gunner. A lot of the old streaks are coming back, and a lot of the old stuff from the original Modern Warfare games are coming back. It looks like a really fun game, and at this point, it looks like a polished game. It definitely probably feels like a polished game from what I've heard from a lot of the guys who've played the game. So we are not dealing with the same thing that Black Ops 4 was. This time last year, Black Ops 4 was in an unfinished state and Blackout was being rushed out the door. I don't feel any sense of urgency with the development of this game. I feel like it's on a steady track and I feel like it's ready to be completed and it's ready to be released. I'm really excited to see some single player gameplay, but nonetheless, if you guys liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about No Season Pass and the beta, as well as crossplay coming to Modern Warfare this year. And I will most definitely be coming out with another video talking about what I thought of this entire reveal and what I think about Modern Warfare. Anyways guys, I'll see you guys all later.